Hello and welcome to Cozy Tales. My name is Miss Lestar and I'd like to welcome you with this little rhyme. Would you like to hear a story, a story, a story? Would you like to hear a story at Cozy Tales today? Get cozy on the carpet, the carpet, the carpet. Get cozy on the carpet for Cozy Tales today. Let's settle in and listen, listen, listen. Let's settle in and listen to Cozy Tales right now. Are you ready? Here's our book. This book is called Walter's Wonderful Web. And today we're going to focus on shapes that little Walter makes. Do you see Walter? Okay. This book was written by Tim Hopgood. Walter's Wonderful Web. Walter's Wonderful Web. Walter wished he could spin a perfect web just like his friends. But Walter's webs weren't perfect. They were wibbly wobbly. It's a fun word to say, wibbly wobbly. And then when the wind blows, whoosh, wibbly wobbly webs always blow away. I wonder what Walter should do about that. Hmm. Ooh. But Walter was determined. So one morning he decided to start with something simple. Hmm. What's simple? Shapes are simple. Very carefully he made a small web in the shape of a triangle. I have a triangle here. There's Walter's triangle. Whoosh! Went the wind and it blew the web away. Walter started again. This time he made a bigger web in the shape of, hmm, what's another simple shape? A square. I have a square right here. See my square? Here's a square for Walter. Whoosh! Went the wind, and just as you guessed it, it blew the web away. Walter sighed and well, he started again. This time he made a longer web in the shape of a, there's another simple shape, rectangle. I have a rectangle right here. Here's a rectangle for Walter. And what do you think happened next? Whoosh, went the wind, and it blew the web away. Not even a rectangle is strong enough. Walter sighed. <sighs> then he stretched his legs and made a taller web in the shape of a diamond. Here's a diamond or a rhombus, however you want to call it. There's the diamond for Walter. Whoosh, whoosh. You guessed it, went the wind, and it blew that web away too. Perhaps my web should be more round, thought Walter because Walter, you have to remember, is very determined. So he climbed up and down. He twisted and twirled. Would this be Walter's first perfect web? What do you think? 
Nearly, it wasn't a perfect web, but it was an almost perfect circle. And it looked strong. I have a circle. See? And here is a circle for Walter. Oh, do you think the wind is going to come? Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Went the wind. Poor Walter hit the ground with a boom. Poor Walter. Walter was tired and upset. He felt like giving up. Have you ever felt that way before? But as the sun went down, he thought about all the different shapes he had made. Triangle, rectangle, diamond, square, rectangle, circle. And all at once he knew just what to do. So he took a deep breath and he set to work. Remember, Walter is determined. Whoosh, went the wind, but it didn't stop Walter or his web. Not this time. Walter's web shone in the moonlight. It was better than perfect. It was a truly wonderful web. These are the shapes that we saw in the book. There's Walter. Very happy because Walter, remember, was very, very determined. And that is Walter's wonderful web. There's a craft that goes with this book. And this craft, I decided to create little shapes. So you can have your adult help you and they can help you create the shapes on colorful construction paper. You can trace them um, and, and decide however you'd like to lay them out on the paper. What I did is I attached the yarn before I put them on the paper so you can create your own web collage. And with the web collage, you can see it might be a little difficult, just like Walter had a very hard time getting that yarn to stick to each shape. It's a little sticky, maybe like a web. So what you get to do is you get to go ahead and put the glue on the shape and then try to put the yarn in that shape on the paper. It's a lot of fun. It's very sticky. You probably will need to wash your hands in between each shape, but it is a lot of fun and you can create a collage. Not only that, when you're done with your collage, after it's dry, you can trace those shapes and see the square, just like a web, the triangle, just like Walter created, a rectangle, And I got a little fancy. I even included some ovals, like the shape of an egg for Walter's web. And Walter, I just colored Walter with a black marker, a circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, tiny legs, and left areas for face. So that is your picture collage for Walter's wonderful web. I hope you have a wonderful time creating it. I had a lot of fun creating mines, and it's time for us to say farewell, but before we do, the link for this craft lesson plan can be found in the description of this video. So if you'd like to help me, it's time to say farewell, farewell, farewell. It's time to say farewell to all my Cozy Tell friends. I hope to see you next week next week, next week. I hope to see you next week for Cozy Tales again. Thank you.